thinking about doing this channel so many people have channels on YouTube and some of them are pretty successful um, I'm not trying to be successful oh there's somebody surfing uh oh um, but I love books so much and I keep seeing all of these channels with people that have you know book reviews or recommendations and I don't really know if I have. Well, I mean, I guess I do have a recommendation. So I started reading this book, and it's called um, The Babysitter. And it's written by a woman, Elizabeth. Gosh, I wish I had the book with me. I don't have it with me. Hmm. I'm distracted by the surfers. Um. Her name is Liza, I think it's Goldman? I'm, I'm wrong. I need to get the book. I have it at home. I actually just finished it the other day. But it's a story about, um, gosh, it's a guy named Tony Costa. Or Costa. I think it's Costa. He's Portuguese. And uh, according to the pictures, he's very handsome. But it was apparently one of the worst cases of like a serial killer a situation way back in the 60s um okay i'm gonna show you the waves oh look, look 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 that's pretty cool anyway i think it's probably better looking than staring at my face anyway uh check out that guy oh, i'm trying to zoom in ah did he fall nope he's still going pretty cool pretty cool the waves aren't really that big I mean, I guess they're surfable, about a foot. Anyway, so back to the story. I will face the waves for a little while. Okay. So back to the story. Um, Tony, uh, like I said, he was Portuguese. His family was from Portugal, obviously. Um, but everybody, it seemed like everybody was so in love with him. I mean, I looking at the pictures that were in the book, I mean, I, I guess I could see... You know, kind of like where he was a little bit handsome. Maybe, um, <laughs> actually like his jail picture was really the best. But uh, I really didn't see that much where, you know, there was like this absolute attractiveness toward him. But whatever, to each its own. So, but basically, I guess he had suffered really badly. They um, talk about it in the book. I think they talked about it in the book. I've watched so many documentaries now. I can't remember if this was in the book or this was not. But it was either in the book or in the documentary that he was um, sexually assaulted when he was really young. He was, like, tied up to a chair, I think. Or he was tied up to something and he was sexually assaulted. So, you know, it makes me wonder. People diagnosed him as schizoid or having, like, a schizoid type of personality. But, I mean, if you suffer some kind of trauma like that, I mean... I don't know if that really, really can dictate, you know, the rest of your life. I, I really don't know. Um, luckily, I don't know anybody who's gone through anything like that. But the book tells about his situation and basically what he went through when he was younger. And I guess maybe why he acted the way he did or I, I don't really know. I don't know if, if there's an excuse to why he acted the way he did. I don't know if there is any kind of good excuse, regardless. Um, but anyway, so I guess his family, you know, they didn't have very much money. His dad died when he was very young. Um, I guess his dad was in the military, maybe the Navy, I'm pretty sure. And he was like saving someone. And um, like one of the guys he was with, he, went, he was saving him in the water and he hit his head and he drowned. So then of course that left Tony fatherless 
and it was just he and his mother. Um, and then they moved into a place in Boston. Well, he was, I guess they were in Provincetown, and they moved to Boston, and they spent a lot of time in a place called Truro. So I don't know um, anybody from Boston. Well, I do actually have one friend from Boston. So she acted like she knew where those places were. So I don't know how they are. Anyway, so basically, I guess he was a teenager, and a lot of the girls in the high school where he started just had this, like, fascination with him. He was, like, really tall and fit and muscular, and so all the young girls were just, you know, all completely crazy over him. And, of course, he, he like, took advantage of that because right away he went to girls that were, like, 13 and 14 years old. Well... He ended up meeting a woman named Avis. Well, I say woman. She was a child. M meeting a baby named Avis. And they got married and actually had, like, three kids together. Um, but their relationship was, like, really bad. The book talks about the relationship. It was toxic. I mean, it was, like, the toxic, the most toxic thing I've ever, I've ever heard about. I mean, it was awful. Just abuse, verbal abuse, sexual abuse, physical abuse. Just weird, weird, weird stuff, like weird kinky crap like um not normal I mean I know everybody has like or maybe some people I don't know have like some into like weird fetishes or something but this is just this is just psycho in my mind and um yeah so they split up over and over and over obviously because sometimes she got fed up with it and she'd throw him out and he'd always come back of course and I think it, I, I don't know. I mean, I did study a little bit of psychology in, in college. And for whatever reason, he felt like attached to her. I almost feel like if you were younger than him, you had a chance. But if you were like the same age or older, he felt threatened. So I think like, it, I think it was a matter of controlling, you know, for him. And, and Avis was his, so he didn't kill her. It was just kind of strange to think about. But anyway, um, everyone else that he was interested in, all the other girls, because he cheated on her all the time, and all the other girls, I mean, for whatever reason, he either felt threatened, or maybe they weren't as interested in him as he thought, or I don't know, he, his man pride or something was hurt. I really don't know. Um, for whatever reason... He, he killed them all. And he did it in such a horrific way. I mean, it was just insane. I mean, like, he literally chopped them up in pieces, little by little. And, I mean, their hearts were gone. Their, oh, my God, their private parts were gone. I mean, he really spent a lot of time on this. So I really don't know what truly constitutes, you know, a psychopath, but... In my mind, that's pretty freaking psycho. I mean, it's one thing to pull a trigger. You know, I mean, almost, you know, you think almost anybody could maybe do that. You just close your eyes and aim. Um, but it takes, it takes some crazy to, to kill someone and then chop them up into pieces. And dig a hole and bury them. And then cut out certain parts of them to keep to yourself. And where are they? Because in the book, they never even talked about about where those body parts are. It's just, it's so gross. It's so haunting. The book is really good. I mean, if you like true crime, I do, and a lot of people do. Um, anywho, so yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. He killed so many people. Well, well, okay, I shouldn't say so many people, but we know for sure he killed four. I think they said they can only make two of them stick. So he did go to jail, but it's so crazy. Like, he was so wrapped up in his mind he just was so narcissistic and so full of himself like he didn't even think his attorneys could do a good enough job protecting him defending him of course they couldn't because he's a psycho and he needed to go to jail he needed to get the gas i think they said the gas chamber i think they did have the gas chamber or they may still i'm not sure but i know not a lot of states have the death penalty i think um anymore but so i think they were trying to try him you know, give him capital capital punishment and fry him in a chair. But um, his attorneys were able to, to keep that from happening. But I think he became 
um, very well liked in jail. So I think he was there about two years. I think the pictures I saw said 18 months. And um, supposedly he had formed some relationship with a different man. And I, it, it, there's a lot of like speculation, but all I know is that they found him hanging in his jail cell. So, I don't know. Some people say that he was murdered. Some people say he did it himself. I just, you know, people with that kind of attitude, I, I mean, I'm not an expert. I mean, just because I've taken a couple classes doesn't make me an expert. But it just doesn't seem like, I think people like that would, for attention, you know, play like, oh, I need... I need a sympathy card. Everybody feel sorry for me. Look at me. Oh, I feel like I'm going to just kill myself today just for attention. I, don't, I think people who are really like that wouldn't do that. I think people who are really that full of themselves and narcissistic and like a, a real true psychopath, a functioning psychopath, I don't think they would do that. So, I don't know. That's just me. So, I was thinking of calling this channel. Gosh, I look terrible, but I don't really care. I mean, literally, I'm just sitting at the sitting at the beach. I really don't care. I don't even have any makeup on. Whatever. Um, but I was just sitting here looking at the sand and literally thinking about sand and psychos. <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy. True crime is just insane. I mean, I, I just have thought about so many times being a psychiatrist or you know, sociologist or something, because studying human behavior is just, it's just crazy. Why the hell do people do the things they do? I have no idea. It's crazy. Anyway, so I thought that would be kind of funny as a name. Look how pretty it is back there. It's so peaceful. There's like hardly anybody here. Look at that. Anyway, so I'm thinking about like sand, sand and psychos, or maybe sand and psychopaths. I don't know. Anyway, So that's my first video. It's kind of just thrown together. I'm not really going to do anything. No editing. I don't think. I don't know. I don't really care. Oop, somebody's got a drone above me. Ooh, hello. Um, but I just was sitting here, like I said, thinking about Sand and Psychos. And I thought, well, why not talk about the books that I read? Because I like to read true crime. And I think it's fascinating. And a lot of people like to. And sometimes, sometimes the best information is from the people who... Uh, are actually from that area like maybe if some of some of you if anybody sees a video are from that area in Boston or you know much about the about the situation like I would like to know because this stuff's fascinating to me anyway so sand and psychos y'all okay stay sane